from Cremo Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. With South Africa facing a critical shortage of skilled and qualified artisans and engineers, steel producer Oslo Metal South Africa's fully Quality Council for Trades and Occupations Accredited Engineering Academy, based in Van der Bale Park in Gauteng, offers artisans training to help address the technical skills gap in the country. Sabrina Jardim tells us more. Established in 1994, AMSA is recognized by the Manufacturing, Engineering and Related Services Sector Education and Training Authority, or MOSITA, as a platinum-ranked skills development company and is a member of the Accelerated Artisan Training Program. In a media presentation on September 26th, AMSA Learning and Development Manager Nicolene van Emmenes posited that an integrated approach to skills development can address current deficiencies in basic education, as well as help to increase the number of apprentices trained at further education and training colleges and the quality of the training. In the latter area, she noted, initiatives are being put in place to improve the quality of teaching and provide college lecturers with practical workplace experience. She added that AMSA had based its skills development strategy on addressing issues within physical science and mathematics at the basic education level, as well as the skills development of the unemployed, thereby bolstering the required skills for the South African economy and addressing the business needs of AMSA. Our focus is to make sure that youngsters um, is aware of the, the opportunities at Oslo Mittel. We've got, uh, got opportunities from university bursaries right through apprenticeship. So it's a wide range of opportunities to become part of a challenging but exciting world of work in industry. Why artisans? Um, it is required for industry to make sure due to the nature of our industry that's manufacturing that you've got a, a well advanced um, artisan pool of employees that knows the, the trade and can maintain equipment and the company as required. The country produces a lot of engineers including ourselves but I don't think they are enough. So skills in the country are always in demand depending in what place in the country you are in. We, we've got an accredited training centre in the country. Um, Number one, but number two, we also now, we've opened our training center to external people to come and train their own people. And number three, we, we do our best to recruit as many engineers as we can, right from apprentices, candidate engineer, production learners, etc. The number could be big, it's actually big, let me confess. But when it comes to absorbing them, that's where our challenge is. We work hard to absorb as many as we can, but regrettable Sabrina, we cannot absorb all of them. As part of its learner pipeline development, AMSA's apprenticeship program offers institutional training as well as workplace exposure. The apprenticeship is a three-year learning program culminating in a trade test with a national trade certificate. AMSA Engineering Academy Junior Manager Busi Siwet Ladla noted that the Academy offers apprenticeship opportunities for seven occupational trades. These are electricians, millwrights, mechanical fitters, fitters and turners, boilermakers, welders and instrumentation mechanicians. Apprenticeships comprise 30% institutional training and 70% workplace exposure and AMSA currently has 359 apprentices in training at the Engineering Academy. ArcelorMittal Engineering Academy offers seven trades on the occupational trades and basically those trades are specific to the trade itself and the learners will be able to basically be equipped with the skills that they need to become competent millwrights or electricians. So the courses is basically it's it's mastered in a way that it's different as per trade because not all the trades will do the same courses. It's specific to a specific trade and this is linked to the curriculum that is given by the QCTR. Meanwhile, AMSA is actively involved in several initiatives to help address skills gaps in South Africa at a national level, assisting the departments of higher and basic education as well as the business sector. Given that the QCTO now oversees the accreditation for occupational qualifications and programs, Van Emmenes noted that AMSA assisted with curriculum development for new occupational qualifications linked to the QCTO. As previously reported in Engineering News, legacy qualifications and singular unit standards expired on June 30th. 
Hence, anyone wishing to enrol learners or employees for skills development will therefore need to be QCTO accredited. Consequently, while AMSA was previously accredited for legacy qualifications, the company is now accredited to provide occupational qualifications. The AMSA Engineering Academy has been fully QCTO accredited since 2022 and is expecting to have its first candidates qualifying in October this year. Tlaatla noted that on the legacy qualification, only students from colleges with N courses from N3 up to N6 could qualify. On the new occupational qualification, matriculants with physical science, mathematics and English at 50% also qualify for the apprenticeship program. We've got different levels of our training programs. We've got the, we call them production learners. These are people with metric that we groom for 18 months to become apprentices. We've got apprentices who've got um, uh, just above metric or a certificate in welding and all that, which we groom to become artisans. Then we've got what we call candidate uh, engineers. These are the kids that are coming with degrees, Bachelor of Science and all that. So all of these levels have got different programs, different modules, but key is that this is a pipeline that will assist us to get to engineering levels. And each module or each level has got different training programs, different modules, and all of these programs are accredited. Uh, my experience at the, image, at the engineering academy has been exceptional having to meet the apprentices from all corners of the world. And I met um, amazing functional training officers and training officers that they have, they have actually molded me to this journey. I now know how to hold screwdrivers. I came here not knowing anything. I didn't even know how to use a spanner. I didn't know that spanners had, had sizes, but now I know. I am equipped with the knowledge at how um, things are functioning at the engineering academy. We were one of the first matric groups that I took in. Everything was new to me and uh, so I started actually off as a, as a boiler maker and uh, I just f uh, fell in love with the, with the whole welding side because uh, uh, when you do boiler making you do a, um, a few well, uh, well welding training and, and so on. So um, yeah, then uh, yeah, I just fell in love with the whole welding side, thanks to the, to the engineering academy okay. for, for making me feel so confident in my, in my, um, in my work. Van Emmenes highlighted AMSA's role in the Master Steel Plan project, a development initiative in collaboration with Mercita. She explained that AMSA has engaged with the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition and MOSITA to develop and expand its skills program in the form of apprenticeships and middles production learnerships. MOSITA has provided a 62 million rand funded investment for 300 production learners and 200 apprentices on a registered structured learning program at AMSA on a 30-month project which began in January. Recruitment for the project is complete and all registered learners have begun with their learning programs. AMSA also offers university bursaries for engineering students and for employees wishing to further their studies. So um, engineering bursaries is uh, available for becoming an engineer or also assistance at uh, University of Technologies with learned technicians but uh, specifically focusing on artisan development to make sure that we address the skills nationally and also for South Africa, um, Oslo Metal. There's only one constant in life, and that is change. If we can um, acknowledge that and understand that and grasp that, that change is constant, make the best of any challenge or any change, and life could be positive. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.